Psalm 96. All the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh created the heavens. The idea is that idols don't create. They are created. They are not creative. We don't maybe struggle with the temptation to worship physical idols, bits of wood and stone, but as we know, our lives are full of potential idols, this career, that beautiful house, that beautiful man or woman that you're attracted to, this, that and the other, that becomes an idol to you secretly in your heart that you keep going back to, the desire to be accepted by people, to have a certain name and image, all these things can become idols. And the world spends their time worshipping idols. But idols are not creative, and worship of idols is not creative. You see, the tension is pointed up between idols, which are created and are not creative, and God, who is creative. I suggest that the spiritual life, the true Christian life, is ultimately creative. We are bringing forth fruit to God. We are doing things for others and in life, for God, in service to the Lord Jesus, which will last forever. If you, for example, bring a secular person to understand Jesus Christ and to believe in him, and you baptize them and you mentor them and pastor them, and they die and shall rise again and live forever, you've done something ultimately creative that will last forever. Whatever else you may make or create in this world and strive after and worship, as it were, shall fade and come to nothing. God alone and his spirit are ultimately creative. There is in all of us the desire to be creative in some form. But I suggest that that is only ultimately met in serving God and in serving his son.